So I basically want to start and explain what this is what it is usually because it doesn't usually look like look like this and i think that's where a lot of the confusion is coming from there's lots of different kinds of eeg and technology has advanced so so far um that it's not all 264 different nodes on your head with wires coming out of it in some beige swim cap it's all the same basic mechanism of these electrode sensor pads um that basically sit on the surface of your scalp and they pick up any sort of changes in electrical activity from not specific neurons, that's why it can be difficult to be really precise where signals are coming from. So the way that the Elden Ring works, basically what it does is it records, or the software that comes with this particular headset, can record what your brain looks like, like this. This is me when I'm talking to you. This is me when I'm focusing on attacking. You see how different it is. For attacking, I'm imagining pushing something heavy really forward. For healing, I'm imagining something falling on top of my face. Sort of, I'm, more, I'm more like pulling it towards me. It takes hours of training to do this, so it's kind of like an on-off switch. Is it there or is it not? And if it's there, up past a certain threshold, then it presses the key through the command and the node read and the coding and stuff. You're supposed to be perfectly still, otherwise there's so much noise. That's one of the limitations of the EEG. There's a lot of, a lot of noise from everything. You have to keep adjusting them, you have to make sure they're super conductive and in the right place as well. But at a certain point, it's not necessarily a limitation of the device, but a limitation of how much we know about the brain. I mean, there's always going to be that, regardless of how amazing your equipment is. Compared to other sciences like physics and biology and things like that, psychology is really, really, really new. The psychologists themselves, our understanding is limited, but the understanding that we do have isn't always shared to the public. So, for example, did you know that the first time that someone used an EEG to control a robot was in 1988. <laughs> this this piece of equipment is its purpose is for contextual research. That's what they say. It's not meant for diagnosis. It's not meant for medical purposes or anything like that. And using it to turn <laughs> the lights on and off in your house, How for cool example, or play Elden Ring with keybinds is perfect. I should for look it. for something somewhere to hide behind, baby. No, 